Okay, here's the next video, the 430 Scuderia. Um, this car is, god damn it, is another one that I really didn't need to do any tuning to at all, other than, uh, you know, rims and uh, a wing on the back to bring the performance points down to uh, 600. Uh, I didn't really care much for the typical red, so I uh, did her in Maserati yellow. Put the decals back on it, put a little 430 in the side. Uh, but all in all, uh, not much, I didn't do much to it because, like the Gallardo, it kind of comes all ready to go out of the box. It doesn't really need any special tuning. Though uh, I did do a few things, just brakes and stuff like that, just to kind of rein it under control a little bit. So, on this course, this uh, Switzerland course, this is quite tricky with a faster car. It's a very fun course with slower cars for sure, but with this uh, with a faster car, it's a little a little trickier. So let's go ahead and let's pop out and let's take a look at what we did to it and where we brought it. So let's go ahead and get out. We'll go back to the shop, garage, whatever, and we'll show what we did. I personally actually like the car. Uh, it's, as far as Ferraris go, it's pretty decent. It looks good and it drives good. You don't really need to do anything with it. So left the suspension, tires, all that, left all that alone. We did put a manual, um, fully customizable manual in there. Cause again, if you're driving automatic, you're kind of wasting your time. Uh, we did put a wing on the back because without any other body work that does bring your performance points down. So it starts like 614, I think, and we brought it down a little bit lower. So we did put an air filter and a muffler for sound. We do got some uh, racing brakes on there to kind of rein it under control and a twin plate clutch. So this thing, uh, without anything really major done to it, has 516 horses under the hood and it only weighs 2,900 pounds. That's pretty damn good. So let me know what y'all think of the 430 uh, Scuderia and uh, what would you do with it? Would you crank it out to see what this thing can do or would you leave it alone and leave it stock to enjoy what it's like out of the box? Uh, personally, I like to do just a little bit on there, just a little bit to give it a little touch, a little something, something. But uh, I dig the interior. It's a nice interior. Uh, BBS wheels look fantastic on this thing. Gotta love BBS. And uh, yeah, all in all, I think it's a very, very, uh, very good looking Ferrari. And it's, uh, it's very Italian and very Ferrari. Yeah. So anyway, glad you guys like it. Uh, let me know what you would do with it. And I'll see you on the next one.